with great kudos to our automobile manufacturers. They've taken something very, very, very complex, okay, <laughs> with all these moving parts and everything else, and let you sit in a seat, uh, uh, push a button to start the engine, and then with a gas pedal, a brake pedal, and a, a steering wheel, you can do just about anything you want with that car, not understanding a thing about what else goes on, okay. Um, and it would be nice if I could take the whole rather complex human system and all of its various uh, needs and its various details and things that it has to go through um, and simplify it all down into, you know, uh, a one or two step thing. Okay, it'd be nice to do. Um, and that's actually what we've done, at least for beginners. Now, somebody who wants to really know how, a, how a, an automobile works and a car works, wants to get into what the engines are all about and what cylinders are all about and all the electronics that go into it and the wheels and the transmissions and all the stuff that are part of cars and want to take all that apart, you can do that. And you can do that with optimal EFT as well. Um, but to begin with, we take it step by step by step. And so we begin with something called the personal peace procedure. Very simple thing. Uh, uh, it has some elemental pieces. One of those pieces is that we first have to um, identify the issue. Um, and the second piece is once we've identified the issue, we want to bring peace to that issue. And we do that with the unseen therapist. Okay. So those are two rather simple steps, not hard to understand, identify an issue, bring peace to the issue, okay? That's like the steering wheel and the gas pedal, all right? So. Now, we need to take those pieces apart, and the more we take them apart, uh, the more sophistication we get, the more understanding we get of the process. So. Um, let's take let's take the first one apart, the identifying the issue. That's that's one of the more sophisticated parts because we could say the issue is, oh, uh, my sore hip. That's what's bothering us for the moment, and so we're going to say that's going to be our issue. We're going to identify our issue. Okay. Well, okay. So that is a symptom. I mean, something causes that hip to hurt. Something causes that. Well, we can deal with cause and get into that sophistication as time goes on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Or we could just say, okay, but we've got a tool here. We've got the unseen therapist. Let's just ask that tool. Ask unseen therapist to come in and we've identified our issue, our sore hip. You come in and do something with that. Okay. Very simple. Doesn't take much understanding. Um, we do this. We may have to do it several times. Okay. Uh, and chances are we're going to get some kind of result from that. Okay, very, very simple. Steering wheel, gas pedal. However, uh, if we want to get beyond that some, let's say we bring unseen therapist in and maybe our result is very temporary. Uh, maybe we don't even get a result or maybe it's partial or whatever, but it's not as complete as it could be. Well, we're still, we understand we're still beginners at it, so we can't expect everything to happen just because we know how to turn a steering wheel and put our foot on a, on, on a, on a gas pedal. I mean, there's still things like transmissions and brakes and, and other gadgetry in the, in, the, in the car that could use our attention, okay? So we, so we, can, but we can go to another level of our identifying the issue. Okay, well, it's, it's a hip problem. Um, when does it hurt? Well, it hurts when I walk. Does it hurt when you sit? No, it doesn't hurt when I sit. Only hurts when I walk. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So maybe there's something mechanically going on with that. Do you know what that might be? Well, the doctor tells me that, uh, you know, I've got a, some deteriorated bone in there someplace. Okay. Well, now we've got another level of understanding of what the hip is about. We can bring an unseen therapist into the level of, oh, we've got deteriorated bone. Unseen therapist can start undeteriorating it, if, that's the, if there's a word for that, the bone, you know, uh, re resurrecting the bone, uh, regenerating the bone, etc. 
But then we want to get to something else, maybe. I mean, if that works, great, great. But is there another level to this? Well, why did that, why do those bones deteriorate in the first place? Oh, well, because I'm getting older, I understand, as I read the medical books and talk to other people. That happens with age. Well, yeah, maybe. But for some people, it doesn't happen with age. Why does it happen with you? Well, I don't know. Different genes, I suppose. Well, okay, maybe. But is there something in your emotional makeup, something in your past, in your childhood, in your background, that's causing you some resentment, some anger, some stuff that you've never resolved, you've maybe even accepted that's just the way the world is. Okay, I need to be angry at so-and-so. Um, or I need to have guilt, to retain guilt for something that I did or didn't do a long time ago or so on. Might that be showing up? Might that be causing some negative chemistry in your body that's affecting the chemistry in your hip? That's it's affecting your immune system, you know, which is supposed to take care of all of this. Maybe some of that's going on. Ah, well, maybe so. Maybe so. So now we're at different levels of it, you see. So it depends on how far someone wants to go with their levels of understanding of all this, their levels of getting into this um, in order to get the kind of results they'd like to get. Okay. So, so the personal peace procedure can expand from something very elemental to something that can get pretty complex depending upon how far one wants to take all this.